Hello everyone, welcome back to episode 46 of Omni Factory, the, the final episode. This is the episode where we complete this guy. I have one more thing to do. Uh, oh, wait, no, I put it in here. Here it is. And wait, did I put them in the wrong spot? Hang on. <laughs> I've been building it up one by one as you saw in the intro there, so I may have... Uh, Put some th things in the wrong spot. I'm pretty sure I got everything though. Uh, I did also update my pack to, oh, there we go, to the dev version because um, a bunch of these recipes were broken in 1.2.2, uh, in particular the watering can one. I actually had them ready to go in here. I was going to cheat in the watering cans in the end and like just destroy all the ingredients, but um, when I upgraded to the dev version, I also found out this recipe was broken in the in 1.2.2, so I wasn't actually able to craft even this. So I upgraded to the dev version like from like a week ago, and um, both the both this and this recipe were fixed. So I guess I don't need these anymore. Um, and before I actually grab this, what I'm going to do is uh, one trick that. I think you can do is actually I already have all these drawers so I made all these drawers over here they're all locked and I think what I can do is if I take like this 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 the stuff that I'm interested in like keeping that's pretty much all I care about right I don't care about anything else everything else we can kind of just uh, we don't really need anymore Especially the infinity ingots. Everything is expensive because of those. But if I put you there, there, oop, uh, there, there, and then like there, 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 and then I take them out again. Okay, but they're locked to that. So I think what happens is when I put the creative vending upgrade in, then I won't have to craft them again. So let's see, can I get it? Yes, I can, there we go. Yeah, that's it. That's all the quests done. Oh, and if I, if I grab this one, yes, and claim, I don't really care which one, then that's done. And then I get all green check marks. That's awesome. Um, so what I'll do is let me, actually, I guess I'll put it into one of these drawers here. Uh, which one? This one? Why not? And then if I get a chest... Oh, actually I'll have to unlock it I think to be able to pump it in, won't I? Uh, if I unlock it, is it gonna put something else random in there? I can take it out again, right? No, I can't take it out again. Hmm. Let me disconnect it from the system because I don't want anything random going in there once I unlock it. Okay, so it's not attached to anything now. And I should be able to unlock it and then conduit it in. Extract from you, insert to you, and then pop you in there. There we go. And then we should be able to get infinite out. Yeah, there we go. And then let's just put these guys back again. Uh, oh, I guess I'll have to put to make them face the right way. Let's grab some concrete to put behind it. Like so. And now we should have bending. Oops. We should have, yeah, we got we got it in our ME system. Okay, so now if I put you there, can I grab them out again? Yes, I can. Hey, there we go. <laughs> yeah, awesome. Then I don't have to like recraft, you know, these things in particular, these things. Okay, so that's pretty much the end game, right? Like, there's nothing else to do. Uh, I'm going to keep my armor. I like this armor. One thing I might do, actually, is get... Um, what's that? What's that? Uh, 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 airtight? 
Oh, and I have enough. Um, I'm pretty sure I have enough. Oh, I have an extra. Wait, why can't I grab that dollar out? I could always put one of these in an upgrade. <laughs> uh, okay, so let me grab a bunch of Omni dollars. There, and get airtight seal. And actually, I will do that because I want a bunch of these. Well, I just want four. And then let's put them on to this guy. This is so anybody who gets the the world download can uh, have airtight seal on their infinity armor if they so choose. So what I'm going to do now is um, I'm going to so the spawn area where you spawn. If you were to download the world seed, you would spawn in over here somewhere. I made a little yeah, I made a little. Uh, spawning platform thingy so you'll spawn in here and there's a side to my base um, so what I might do is put some drawers maybe here oh is that all the oh no here we go with uh, you know all the armor and stuff that you might want to grab if you were to come into the world and you know you don't want to join the world with nothing like so yeah let's do that one as well I guess I don't know if there's anything else I really need to add here is there if I think of anything else I'll add it here as well so there you go you can grab a sword of the cosmos as well oh wow I didn't know it did that that looks cool <laughs> uh, not that there's anything to kill here, I guess some, uh, some of these guys. Kill it! I can't reach it! There we go. Uh, oh, the, the texture looks weird like this, doesn't it? Anyway, okay, so, now that I've finished the game, we are going to start a world tour. Let me just put some of this stuff away so you can, uh enjoy oh I guess I can put my my pickaxe in there too you might want to have you might want to grab that let me just uh oh, not you let me just re rejigger it oops where is it over here oh I should put uh did I put the storage upgrade onto these ones Oh, I didn't put it in these ones either. Okay, now, there you go. Now you can actually get the stuff. Okay, there you go. Yeah. So we have infinite of everything. So you can use my pickaxe. I think it should have all of the upgrades on it. So you can like, these are all public. So you should be able to get access to all of these in the world download. Um, but yeah, that that's where you'll spawn in. So, um, You'll want to, I don't really have, you know, a front door or anything to my base, oops. Um, but you know, you can grab one of these boats or you'll be able to fly over if you want as well. Um, but this is kind of the path that I made. So I made a little landing platform over here. Oh boy, I don't know why I can't fly. Um, you know, you can come up the stairs here, you can come over to here. And then, oh, I wonder if I should turn off all of those things, like my, uh, I'm going to test this out and, and hopefully by the time I sort it all out, you'll be able to, you know, figure it out. So, world tour, here we go. This is kind of the area where we started the game, like I was kind of just uh, putting a bunch of machines in the walls here and on the ground here and planting rubber trees and things, and then pretty soon... I moved into here and this is kind of where I started from the this is this is always my main like base area as soon as I got the ME system this was here I had some machines around here originally too um, but yeah this was the the main base uh, this is always the plan that I had to have like a I don't know like a, a crazy laboratory kind of theme I don't know what kind of theme you would call this like modern laboratory something or other 
with the ME system here and like some random machines strewn about. I kind of like that look. Um, so over here we have our storage area. I didn't really have a whole lot of storage drawers. Um, mostly what I've been doing is as the ME system filled up with stuff, um, I would then put them into a storage drawer so that you know I could remove uh, them from the ME system and from clogging everything up. Eventually I upgraded all these to 64k cells and I have a bunch of empty ones but they're still like full ones as well. Um, and then we, yeah we, had, we slowly built up these guys so that we have a full set of ME drives and these are the ME drives which have uh, liquids in them. These are only 4k still. I never had to ha have more than 40 of them. Um, up here we have our, this is our, uh, the first blast furnace we built is here and this is the one that I've kept. LEV, not even fully upgraded. I tried to upgrade it as much as, you know, to make it as strong as possible because every now and then you want to just throw something in a blast furnace and, and smelt it. And same with the vacuum freezer. Once we uh, started vacuum freezing things, sometimes you want to throw it into the blast furnace, have it go into the vacuum freezer and you don't necessarily need to have everything fully automated eventually we did um, down here we have our like you know on-demand machines I, I, I like to call them so these are all the machines that make um, you know rods and uh, pipes and whatever else bolts gears ring alloy smelter um, I eventually upgraded all these to be, uh, what is that, L, uh, ZPM, but for the most part, they were pretty low tier, like, this was the highest tier for quite a while. Um, and these ones, these these ME uh, assembly machines were uh, HV for quite a long time too. I eventually got sick of waiting for things and uh, this, is, this is what I upgraded them to eventually. Uh, a couple of extra random machines inside the walls here, we have the Enchanter, which makes... Uh, I forget what this thing makes, like um, enchanted stuff. Yeah, these guys, enchanted ingots, and I think also the apples. It's got the second tier of upgrades, so it's relatively quick. That's kind of slow. Yeah, it's not that fast. Um, over here we have a, a, a Atomic disassembler. This is just a fairly standard automated setup. Um, we have our resonator here, which has the final tier of upgrade because we had to do a whole bunch of red coal for some of those final ingredients. And uh, this stuff, like you needed like hundreds of thousands of pieces of red coal for some of those machines. And as you can see, like a lot of those machines, I would just like uh, request it and then a day later, I would come back and it'd be done. Here we have our um, crafting package, cra you know, uh, what is this thing called, crafting setup. Uh, eventually I didn't need this too much because once you get the creative the creative tank, uh, you can, everything that was craftable in here is, is fluidified. In here we have um, what used to be our main setup for getting um, pulsating polymer clay. It's not anymore. I have a bigger one over there, which I'll show you in a minute. Um, I've pulled out a bunch of stuff. This used to be for uh, making the the ender, but now that we have the tank, I put the tank there to make the ender pearls. Um, and then I had this completely separated from the rest of the power because I didn't want to run out of diamonds and then have the whole thing shut down and then somehow need to restart it. So I, I made this completely self-sustaining. The diamonds that makes it here will go to these guys first before going to the rest of the system. Um, I put this in and then never used it. I don't know why. Our base then continues around here a little bit. This is where we have all of our uh, fission. Wow, wow, I have a lot of stuff here. <laughs> Is it going? It's not going. Why isn't it going? That's weird. Anyway, it doesn't matter. I don't need it anymore. Um, yeah, so, ooh, I, I have to be careful because apparently this stuff now kills you uh, in the latest dev release. You can see they've, like, shrunk the size of it. In the previous release, this was a full block, so you could never, like, step inside it to die, but now apparently you can. I don't want to do that. 
Um, yeah, so this is all um, these mechanical crafters to craft all of these ingredients together. The, the bits and pieces go into like here, we make thorium, it makes it into, it centrifuges it into the, the nuclear craft thorium. And then that goes into like one of these guys. I can't remember which one. Oh wow, this one has heaps. Do I have it? No, why did I, why have I got a sign there? I don't know. Interesting. How come it's not making it? Shouldn't 238. Oh, 233. That's weird. Anyway, never mind. Um, yeah, so all of these crafters uh, are for all of the different ingredients to make up all of these guys. So we don't have too many. I don't know why. Hmm, interesting. I don't know why this is stopped. Maybe it's this thing or this thing. Oh, there it goes. No. I don't know why it's not working, but I don't really care either. Redstone sensor filter, not signal. Yeah, so it shouldn't be putting a signal out because it has no heat. But it's getting power and it's getting power from this thing because if I turn that off, it starts again. I don't know, I find these conduits to be kind of buggy, to be honest. Wait, no, it should it should go when it has a signal, right? That's that's how this thing works. So it should have been going. Counting filter. Input. Output. Not. Yeah, it's got a signal. So why isn't it going? It must have got broken somehow when the... when we upgraded to the dev version somehow. Hmm. Anyway, that's not a big deal. Uh, yeah, so we have a bunch of stuff that most of this stuff is kind of... Oh, I don't need hover mode. Most of this stuff is not used anymore. Like any, all of that stuff we can, fl you know, get by fluids. Um, so here we made our little canola farm. I guess this is completely full now. Yeah, uh, this guy's full here yeah, making canola oil. This one has always been running off this solar panel. Um, I had a tier one, I think originally, but it doesn't need a lot of power. Over here we have our sheep farm or, yeah, this is a, a let me put hover mode on actually. This is our sheep spawner. We use this to make the uh, raw meat, which was used later on to make um, sterilized growth medium. So I didn't actually need to have it running for the, all that long. I think a couple of days it ran for and then that was it. And it should all go into those chests. <laughs> yes, uh, oh, let me throw that one in too. Okay, and then over here, across this bridge here, so back from here again, across this bridge, we have our main, like, uh, I guess, factory floor, where all of the, the automation machines happen. Um, so we have a couple of uh, loot fabricators and, and simulation chambers making random bits and pieces of uh, stuff that you need from from those machines like um, this is where we made our iron for the longest time all that iron came from here gold all of these were always running for a long long time um, and then we have all of these machines making all of the liquids and the, you know iron and, and uh, you know, steel and dark steel and electrical steel and um, all of these things over here making I don't know random stuff epoxy resin Bisphenol A, hypochlorous acid, all that kind of stuff, uh, all the way over to here. This was our highest tier machines over here. These were these are making um, circuits, I guess. Uh, oh yeah, I lost my resource pack. I had a resource pack that changed these to be reasonable um, and like distinguishable. Um, 
but I, uh, when I upgraded to the dev version, I guess I forgot to install it again. Um, yeah, so then we have uh, all our um, blast bonuses down here. So starting from the very earliest one, this is probably the first one we made. Uh, well, it wasn't EV at the time. What is it making? Oh, aluminium. Yeah, so this is smelting al aluminium into aluminium ingots. And then each machine, each you know blast furnace, we added a new blast furnace to make a new uh, ingot or whatever. Some of these I've, I've modified over time to improve it, you know, so we have the portable creative tanks giving us ender. Uh, what is this? The book Primal Banner. We have this one here giving us Argon, I think it is. Yeah. Uh, I forget what half of these things do now. What does this one make? Oh, I guess this is glowstone doped silicon. I didn't know that needed Argon in it. Uh, titanium so this one must be making titanium yeah and then we have more over here so you can see as we as we slowly built out the factory things got higher and higher tier uh, we never really upgraded past HV for any of these machines most of these machines are all HV there's a couple of things that are like this one is IV and here's an EV one most of these are for making I had to use the higher tier ones to make oh, not stone. Most of them I had to make for, yeah, the circuits needed to be the higher tier. Um, but eventually we had to go, when we went over there, we made an even higher tier still. Uh, over here we have our, this is like our um, oil drilling control center. I have the, uh, I look into our fluid stuff here. So drilling fluid goes into this tank. Oil comes out of this tank into the ME system. And uh, we have a redstone signal. So we'll stop pulling out of this tank once we have um, whatever that is uh, a million millibuckets of oil in the system so that would then stop our oil drilling rigs from uh, making oil in the first place once that fills up that fills up the these will stop working uh, where are we not here yet too early yeah and then over here we have our basic processing for it. So here we're making um, refinery gas, we're making uh, heavy fuel and I guess light fuel or naphtha. And maybe this one is light fuel, yeah. And what's this one making? Diesel. So this is just mixing the two together. And then we were making the nitro diesel over there. Over here we have our first sets of, um, uh, what are these things called? Oh, missing structure. Structure found none, but it's got a structure. These are our micro minor um, mission machines. Oh, I guess I was doing some missions here. We don't need them there like that. Uh, and our big one over here. Um, and then over here we're making, uh, these are, this is making a superconducting wire. Here we have our lava factories. These were making lava. Once we got tired of the uh, doing it in the nether, uh, once we got the ability to, to build it here, there was no need to do it in the nether anymore. So that's what we're doing here. Um, if we go upstairs, we get our power system. So, oh, are these running? They should be. Yeah, I don't know why the animation doesn't work. Some, the animation seems to stop for some random reason. Um, over here, we used to have a, a, a fusion reactor making the um, oxygen plasma. Shouldn't that be oxygen plasma? Yeah, okay, anyway. Um, but yeah, once we got the creative tank, I just swapped it out for the creative tank of oxygen plasma and all of these guys now run making power. We have these guys burning diesel to make power, or nitro diesel, I guess. Um, and they all go into our power system here. Um, and then eventually, we went, when we went to space, which we'll go to in a minute, um, we built this thing to suck the power out of space where most of our power is now generated. Uh, I put a creative energy cell here because uh, for every 
RF that comes through the system, it, it sucks out like 5% or something as, uh, I guess like a tax to suck it through the, the, the system, the, whatever this thing is called, quantum ring. And sometimes when I was using heaps of power in the base here, this thing would shut off because it wouldn't have enough power stored. So I made the creative energy cell once we were able to. I, originally I had a huge tower of energy cells here, uh, but this thing is enough to handle everything basically. Um, okay, moving along, we have over here. So outside of the main factory, once we got the creative tank, I put the the fluid solidifier here uh, so we're making a, a whole stack of them 7,000 of them go into this drawer uh, we were able to grab as many as we needed and then I built these fluid solidifiers and all of the machines needed like oh I didn't put a background there I tried to make these look as nice as possible but sometimes I miss blocks here and there uh, but these make all of the you know the, these uh, solidified or stabilized whatever they are um, and then some more over here. Uh, eventually I had to, I'll, I'll come back to this in a minute, uh, but then over here we have all of these creative fluid tanks solidifying stuff, making all of the different ingots and um, plates and whatever else you need. I might fill this in before I make the world download so it looks nice for you. Yeah, so there's a lot there. Um, so these are all the ones that we used to make in the, um, What's that thing called? The pedestals. But that's why we don't need them anymore. Go away. Go away. Uh, uh, yeah, so over here we have um, uh, our machines making dragon lair data. These, we needed to make quite a lot of them. Oh, I guess I should put chaos shards actually, because these are used to make chaos shards. Um, and then we're making, uh, what are these things called? Ender Dragon Scales, we're making diamonds. These are all basically all the things that you can't make by fluid solidifying. I had to build a whole bunch of these to make them. Ender Pearls, which you technically could probably make. I think you can do it by uh, solidifying something. I think there was a way to do it. Yeah, you can get, I think you can do it this way. Pulsating dust, uh, resonant clathrate with uh, melted this, and another quartz makes one of these, and then you combine it with, you, you, uh, yeah, you smelt it, and then you combine it with a diamond. So technically, enderpearls could be made um, as long as you had enough diamonds, but diamonds can't be, so anyway, that's how I ended up doing it. Uh, what else have we got? Oh, over here, this is where we put, oops, so yeah, going from our um, nuclear craft area up to here, we have our like late game stuff. So this is the first assembly line that I made, the second assembly line that I made. Um, up here, we are making canola, uh, what's this stuff called? Uh, what does this make? It makes the, the, the refined canola or something like that. Empowered oil, yeah. So we put our canola seeds there, we empower them in the empowerer. And if I make, if I tell this to make a bit more, we should eventually see it doing so or not. Oh wow, how much do we have? That doesn't matter. Uh, yeah, so this is basically all of the stuff to make empowered oil. That chicken has been there for a long, long time. Over here we have a uh, our fusion crafting, the first set of automated fusion crafting that we made. So this makes a whole bunch of machines on demand. Um, and then down here, oh, this is some fluid solidifiers. Before we had those uh, creative fluid tanks, we were doing our fluid solidifying here to make the the stabilized machine, the stabilized ingredients. Down here we have some more machines. So this is where we put all of our high powered stuff. So I have a bunch of machines to make uh, like wetware circuits and draconic stem cells. Most of these are duplicated because even that was too slow. The fastest machines. Uh, we have some photogenic insulators making potatoes and 
all the other bits and pieces we needed. Um, this one was making uh, Nakwadria, and I think this one was making Nakwada alloy or enriched Nakwada. Yeah. So basically, I'd put the ingredients into these drawers, and then it would just make it out of that. Up here, we're making all of our like uh, high-end uh, stuff, like the, the stuff that we needed to be made really, really fast. So gravity stars, I needed to make them really fast. So we have three of them here. We're making uh, night slime. We're making quantum stars over here. I think we have a bunch of circuits. Yeah, so we made the fastest circuits possible. A lot of the late, late, late game stuff, like after we got the creative floor tank is just like building things over and over again because it's too slow, which is kind of, I don't know. I, I didn't really enjoy the post creative fluid tank game as much as the pre creative fluid tank game. I found building the same thing over and over again to be kind of tedious. I actually, so let's go to space and I'll show you what we did in space. Space is where most of the post creative fluid tank game happened. So out here we have our space station. I think it looks pretty cool. This bit here is kind of meh. Probably would have been better with another dome, but um, yeah, I think the domes turned out pretty cool. Um, and basically, this was our first dome. So it, it, we have air coming out here, so we have, you know, we don't have to worry about oxygen inside the, the domes. Um, but basically, this was our first dome where we made the micro miner. So we automated all of the production of um, the tier five, six, seven. We've, we've, yeah, we've automated a bunch of them. Micro miner. So we've automated tier seven, tier nine, tier three, tier one, tier four. Wait, did we automate this one? Maybe we didn't automate tier three. Doesn't seem like it. Um, tier eight, and of course the tier 10, this guy. All fully automated because we need to make, you know, tons and tons of chaos shards which I should probably actually put these into the um, infinite storage drawers so that we don't have to keep doing that. But then we have these drawers here. These ones are getting... Um, wait, it says missing structure again. Is it broken? Is it like actually broken? Yeah, it didn't change color again. That's weird. that happened huh I don't know if uh, so this probably happened when I upgraded to the dev version I, I don't know if uh, I, I don't know if there's an easy way to fix it I'll see if I can fix this before we do the world download um, but otherwise yeah it kind of sucks that these machines are all broken um, I guess they're all broken then right missing structure I wonder why Let's have a look at the large. Did I do the wrong thing maybe? It's definitely purple space diamond. Oh, do I have to? Please use the new Greg Tech multi blocks instead. What? Wait. Okay. <laughs> oh, they're the same stuff though. Microverse projector casing. Huh. Okay. Well, that's a bit annoying. I guess I could go through and rebuild them all, but uh, I don't really want to. That's kind of annoying. Anyway. Um, yeah, so this is where we built all of the infrastructure to make the tier up to tier 10 micro miners. And here we are making the tier 10s here. And then this one I think is making tier 5, which we needed for something post. Uh, oh, which one did we need? Wait, is that? Wait, no, tier 4, tier 4. 
this one. I think we needed it for uh, the emeralds or something. Lapis, maybe? I can't remember. Something we needed it for, anyway. Um, yeah, let's see how we're doing power wise. Uh huh. It's gonna take. Does, it, does that mean it's gonna take that long to fill up? <laughs> we are at 0.3% full. I ended up making um, a full stack of neutronium solar panels um, because. Oh, how come this still has stuff in it? Oh, I guess it's not that full. Anyway. Yeah, um, because uh, all of this stuff together when it was making things was like really draining the power. But now uh, it doesn't drain any power at all. So. Is that the end of the world tour? I think it is. I think that's everything that I can think of. Let me put one of these in here. There. Um, oh, no, I forgot one little thing over here. Oh, actually two things over there. Over here we have all of our uh, tower machines. Wait, that's oh yeah, this is also a modular machine, so it's missing its structure too, isn't it? Oh boy. Um, but yeah, and then over here we have our three reactors, so the tier one, tier tier two, and tier three reactors. But yeah, that's pretty much the end of the world tour. This is my big factory, and uh, thanks a lot for watching. And I don't know what I'm going to do next. Am I going to do another? Um, series, another mod pack, uh, just to play around by myself for a while, I don't know, we'll see how it goes. But thanks for watching this one, um, and I'll see you sometime in the future, question mark? Bye!